Welcome to Furion Exobionics, where we're developing giant all-terrain mech suits to bring you the next frontier in human skill. Hey folks, Jonathan Tippett here, co-founder and chief test pilot of Furion Exobionics. Now in our last episode, we had prosthesis here up in the scrapyard, and we were flipping, dragging, and crushing old cars. It was awesome. Check out the episode if you missed it. One of the biggest questions we got from that video was how we achieve such fluid motion of the machine and how is the machine actually controlled? Well, that's the best part. The machine's movements are controlled entirely by the pilot's movements. That's what makes it a sport. So we're gonna give you a sneak peek into the cockpit and give you the basics of what it takes to pilot a sports mech. The reason the machine moves so smoothly, even though it weighs 9,000 pounds, is because we've developed a technology that connects the human pilot to the machine in a way that's never been done before. So we're leveraging the skill and the nervous system of the pilot themselves to make the machine move, balance, and perform. Central to this control system is the full body exoskeletal interface at the heart of the machine that the pilot straps themselves into. It connects their arms and legs to the four legs of the machine and provides real time positional and force feedback to the pilot. So you can feel the weight shift in the machine, you can feel the weight on each foot and when the foot hits resistance, the pilot feels that resistance. And if the foot gets stuck, the pilot gets stuck. In fact, until the machine gets powered on, the pilot can't move at all. They're totally locked in there. So let's climb up into the cockpit and we'll show you how the pilot connects to the interface. It's a bit of a tight squeeze getting in, but once you're in, it's actually quite comfortable. You're locked in by your hands, your elbows, your knees, and your feet. The pilot's arms control the outside legs of the machine. The interface picks up the pilot's movements and amplifies the force by about 50 times letting them throw the thousand pound steel legs around like they barely even weigh 20 pounds, but still preserving the sense of momentum that they have. The inside legs of the machine are controlled by the legs of the pilot. All four legs of the machine are identical and they're on a common axis, so the machine doesn't really have front legs or back legs, it just has inside legs or outside legs. So once you're connected in all these places, all you gotta do is stand up. So you may be wondering what kind of training and practice it takes to get from standing up to flipping cars. Well, it's quite a bit. And that's one of the things we're going to explore in our upcoming episodes. I'm going to take you through some of the drills and exercises that we've developed over the years, from leaning to rolling to stepping, to help new pilots learn how to pilot the machine. And then we're going to invite world-class athletes from various different disciplines to test their medal in the mech see what it takes to make a mech pilot. So we're off to our mountain trials facility to make that happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. We'll see you there.